Hi there, Dave Markham for You, You, A Way of Life. We continue with the Spiritual Life series, Topic 18, Love, Peace, and Bliss. Uh, Osho says that maturity has nothing to do with life experiences. Uh, but it has something to do with your inward journey, your experiences of the inner. He says, the more a man goes deeper into himself, the more mature he is. When he has reached the very center of his being, he is perfectly mature. But at that moment, the person disappears. Only presence remains. The self disappears. Only silence remains. Knowledge disappears. Only innocence remain. Sometimes I talk about the person like a onion. We have layer on layer on layer on layer on layer. Uh, you could think of those layers as circles of privacy. So you get right down to the heart of the person. And of course, deep down at the center is our unconscious. So there's many things about ourselves and our functioning that we're not consciously aware of. And as life goes on, our blind spots get illuminated and we become more aware of our unconscious. So our unconscious becomes conscious. So Osho says, <clears throat> to me, maturity is another name for realization. You have come to fulfillment of your potential. Your potential has been actualized. The seed has come on a long journey and has blossomed. Maturity has a fragrance. It gives a tremendous beauty to the individual. One of the ways of thinking about this is that uh, the number of life experience a person has is not what contributes to maturity. People can be broadly traveled, have been married several times, uh, have all kinds of life experiences. It uh, doesn't necessarily make them mature. What makes a person mature is the meaning that they make of that experience. So maturity doesn't come from external experiences. It comes from inner awareness. And so uh, sometimes people say when they retire, they want to travel. They become tourists. They take in the sights. And uh, I don't know, I guess as a distraction and a source of pleasure uh, and uh, uh education, learning more about the world and other peoples and cultures and so forth. That, that's a fine thing to do. But there's a difference between being a tourist and being a pilgrim. A pilgrimage is about inner transformation. Pilgrimage is about inner understanding and meaning making. So I have aspired to be a pilgrim, uh, not to be a tourist. So Osho is teaching that maturity is realization, <clears throat> the actualization of one's potential, the acceptance and pursuit of becoming one's true self, capital S. And this true self, capital S, is not individualized and personalized. The true self is to be found in the cosmic consciousness of becoming one with the all, which requires the dropping of the ego. So a metaphor that's often used is drops of water from the ocean. So our individual personal selves is just a drop of water from the ocean. But at some point, <clears throat> we are evaporated and um, return to the oceanic oneness. 
And when one returns to that oceanic oneness, uh, they've recaptured the innocence and wonder that they left when they were a small child. So as an adult who's been conditioned and socialized, they're no longer calloused and cynical and narcissistic and bitter and resentful and angry and fearful. Nothing uh, is about them as an individual. They have become a presence which no longer has an ego. And as Osho describes, the fragrance of maturity is love, peace, and bliss. Osho also teaches the difference between pleasure, happiness, joy, and bliss. Pleasure, of course, is physical sensation. Happiness is an adjective that describes our emotions and moods uh, when we're having a good time. It's an altered state of consciousness uh, temporarily. Uh, joy is an ongoing mood that uh, lasts for several days or months or hopefully uh, years of our life. And bliss is when we become one with the all. And so we are conditioned and socialized to seek pleasure and happiness, thinking that that's what's going to fulfill us in life when really uh, we ought to be uh, pursuing uh, joy and bliss. And the mature person who has created inner meaning from their life experience and who has actualized their potential and drops the ego and becomes one with the all, achieves bliss. Okay? Thanks for spending this time with me. Be well, stay well. Bye.